All right, so currently I'm staying at this Christian camp and there's like a whole bunch of cabins. There's probably like 50 cabins that aren't being used. My landlord, out of the blue, she's like, yeah, I don't want you staying here. You gotta go, you gotta get out of here. So I'm like, what the flip? Like out of the blue too, like my cabin is so far away from anybody. There's a huge lodge with a whole bunch of people inside and then the cabins that I'm by, there's like five cabins beside me, but nobody's sleeping or nobody's, you know, taking up that room or that space. So it's only me alone and I'm not even doing anything crazy, like at all, but she just sent me a letter Letter. she's like yeah I want you out of here like you gotta go and when I was staying in the lodge I stayed there for five days because there's a cold snap the cabin isn't insulated at all there's like holes in it and you can only you can't even plug in two block heaters you can only plug in one and then the breaker goes out so she's like yeah come in the lodge for as long as you want so I was in there for like five days and then she kicked me out and then I went back into my cabin and then she's like yeah you gotta pack your bags and you gotta go so I'm like what the flip, dude? She's like one of those ladies who's like extremely nice, but you know it's not like genuine, so it makes you kind of nervous, like it freaks you out. It's like a kind of nice where she just wants to please everybody. It's not like she's genuinely being nice. Like it's kind of like you can just feel her eyes like beaming through your head but it's covered up with like an extreme friendly demeanor which is freaky <laughs> yeah anyways i'm not complaining like life has just been throwing shots lately like i owed the government four grand and then i just get kicked out of my place and it's like damn you know what i mean it's when it rains it pours and a wise man once said every problem that's on your path is there so you can grow and so you can learn from it i'm not even tripping because i wanted to move like i'm kind of getting bored of this place and not only that like i just want a new environment i want a new scenery i want to you know be in a big city like that's my main goal is just to be in the big city so I can go out and I can film videos I don't like being in these small town places with like all these small-minded individuals I don't know like when you're in a small town place It can be kind of depressing because everybody's you know kind of like fed up in a way It's not like you know, it doesn't have a life like a city But I'm gonna go to the city and I'm gonna try to just you know squeeze into a room I don't even care at this point like if I gotta share a place with somebody I don't care because I'm not gonna be there for the full day So it doesn't really matter, you know, hopefully it's not a weirdo, but every Everything online it says only for girls only for girls like apparently just nobody trusts guys to rent a place in the city So every place is just loaded with females and there's literally like no places that they want guys to rent it So it's kind of weird I guess they think that every guy is just a slob and clumsy and lazy and there's like a stigma around girls that they're clean and that they're Organized and all this but trust me bro it just depends on the person, honestly. Like, you don't gotta be so inclined to, like, cancel out a whole gender. Like, just do a background check on the person. If they got, like, a profile, and they're looking greasy, and they're looking sketchy, and it looks like they might fucking stab you when you're sleeping, then yeah, okay, don't rent to that person. All right, so I am putting my trust into God and the universe, and I'm just hoping that the stars align, because I'm doing something that's a leap of faith. Like, it's kind of sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm trying to meet up with this kid that was in a video so he could be the cameraman for my channel, because I need a cameraman desperately and nobody wants to do it because they don't see the vision they only see well why would i want to do that like it's a waste of time this that and the third and like you know this kid was in one of the videos he gave me his number and i was like you know what i'm just gonna see like i desperately need one i was asking one of my best friends if he wanted to go out and shoot some videos but everyone's like what the fuck is that like why are you doing that they don't understand the vision or they don't believe in the vision like i do so i just want to get the ball rolling so i'm getting this kid to start filming videos i know literally nothing about him i met him for literally like a span of 40 minutes just talking in a video he was kind kind of sketchy like he was just skittish and he was kind of off and like his friend group was a little weird like it wasn't off off it wasn't like extremely weird but they're just kind of odd and that was really the only thing which you know i don't really see any red flags hopefully not dude i'm just putting my trust in it because i desperately need a cameraman because when i'm filming these pranks it's literally a mission just to find a discreet not obvious place to hide the camera and that's a mission in itself like somebody could see me doing that and people have like when i was in the library filming that moaning prank like some dude's like what are you doing and i'm like i'm just filming a time lapse of me studying and this that and the third like trying to make things up and that is a job in itself you know trying to hide the camera because if people see it they're like oh he's filming a video and then you know i can just pop off they can snatch the camera or like if i get taken away or kicked out of some place and then i get you know departed from my camera then it's all over like this camera needs mobility it can't be on a tripod and that way i can get better angles you can actually see some reactions and like you know it just makes it that much easier and that much better and it's an important job like i don't want to be out here vlogging like it's 2013 or like doing all this shit by myself i want somebody beside me you know just filming bangers because i need that but yeah i'm going to the city real quick and i'm gonna shoot some bangers there but before i do that i want to interview this kid just to see if he's you know a likely candidate or somebody that i want you know behind my camera or even in my car or even in my presence like is this a trustworthy individual or is he a psychopath i have no idea but yeah i really want to make this thing happen so i'm gonna you know give him a shot all right so this is one of the guys that was in the video that i said 
it looked like Eminem. He's back again because he got my phone number and I'm like, huh, I'm never gonna text this guy in my life, like being honest, right? And then I was like, wait, hold up. Like this could be a good opportunity for him to be a cameraman. <laughs> If I'm doing something crazy, don't be looking at me, but make sure it's like me and the subject or the person. Yeah, man, we can start uh, in this building and I'm going to start blowing up people's ears. Is that illegal? <laughs> no, it's illegal. <laughs> this guy is going to be my new cameraman. I'm just showing him the ropes. He's kind of nervous. He's like, yeah, let's start off with street photography. And I'm like, no, like we got to go all in. We got to <laughs> do crazy pranks because everything is saturated. Like everything has been done. So we got to go out with the bang and we got to make bangers. So. I'm gonna be, you know, taking some inspiration from Nelk and moaning in people's ears. And yeah, that's just a start. And then I got this baby prank that I'm also doing, so. You think I got W Riz? I don't know what you're talking about. At least he's honest. W Riz. Are you actually 27 though? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Do you want to see my ID? Not really. Right. <laughs> so random though. Like, this is a complete stranger, and I'm like, I'm just gonna make him my cameraman. I know nothing about him really. But, fuck it, dude. How, how old are you? Uh, I'm 23. Oh, okay. Yeah, 23 is pretty good. But yeah, like, how dedicated are you? Seriously, though, like, how dedicated are you? Tom? I don't know, Like, man. say if I called you tomorrow, would you be like, nah? Because this isn't just today. Dude. You just want to be internet famous. I honestly just want to be my own boss and be self-sufficient. I just always felt like I could do it myself. Obviously, I need a camera, man. Don't you want to do that? Like, don't you want to do your own thing? Like, you're always bringing up crazy questions and shit. Well, I was just wondering, like, do you think the, the system doesn't seem to work as well as it used to? Even the weather's just, like, kind of weird. That's what I was saying. I was, this guy was texting me like a whole bunch of crazy questions. It's like, do you think the system's collapsing? I'm like, well, I'm just trying to film a video. <laughs> <laughs> Spend too much time on Reddit. I haven't seen birds in a couple weeks. I don't know if everything works as well as it used to. Well, the birds, they're real, but like, I don't know. I've never seen like a baby seagull. Really? Hello, how are you? Tell me, how are you? Huh? Hey? Huh? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. Uh, <laughs> you know me? Oh. Huh? What are you doing that for? Huh? I think you get the wrong guy. Huh? Oh. What's that? Huh? Okay, so you're And all of the greatest footage was not picked up because my lav mic wasn't connected. It wasn't plugged in, which is extremely unfortunate. And I was so mad when I figured that out, but it's all good. What do you think is good for a baby, like for alcohol-wise? You, you have eyes. I'm not, I'm not answering that question. Dude, this has to be one of the shittiest Walmarts I've ever been to in my life. But, but yeah, I'm just looking for a realistic baby, like something that's actually believable. If I was to pull a prank with it and that looks a little sus, I'm not going to lie. Like I'm obviously going to be covering it with a blanket, so it's, you know, you can't really see everything. Thing, but I don't know if it boils down to it. I'm gonna have to pick this up. That's a light skinned baby. I'm white, so that doesn't even make sense. Or something like this. This is actually pretty good. This is more believable. I just gotta cover its head so it looks realistic, but that actually does look real. Like, that's kind of freaky looking. I just gotta get like a beanie or a blanket to cover this thing's head because if somebody sees that, they're gonna be like, yeah, that's fake as fuck. Okay, so for the cameraman, his story background, his origin story is that he's deaf and he's blind. So if anybody says stop the camera or no recording or this, that, and the third, my excuse is that, you know, this is what Loaf does. He says, oh, it's not a video, it's 30 pictures per second, which it is. So that kind of throws him off. And also, if they try to, like, you know, mess with the cameraman or be like, turn that off or whatever, I'll just be like, He's death. <laughs> he's he's death and he's blind and he can only read braille. No, but like if anyone like tries to talk to you, you're death, you're blind. Like you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Yeah. Just so they don't like yeah. try to talk you into turning it off. I'll okay. just be like he doesn't talk. Yeah. And you just keep filming, you just keep rolling. Yeah. Like actually though. Okay. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck have I got myself into? So like if a cashier or some dude's like, why are you filming? I'll just be like, man, he's deaf and he's blind. <laughs> like he can't hear what you're saying. Yeah. 
But anyways, we got a we got a baby. We're going into the liquor store, and I'm gonna ask if they can give him some alcohol to help him sleep, to help him go to bed. I'm gonna be like, you know what? I tried with nursery rhymes. I tried with all of this. Like I tried everything, and I got work tomorrow. And this baby, it just keeps crying. It's crying and it's crying and it's crying, and I can't put it to bed. So like, could I? What, what would they recommend? What kind of drink would they recommend to a newborn baby? So we're gonna see. The baby looks pretty real. It's gonna be wrapped up in a blanket. Um, and yeah. Dude, I feel like a piece of shit dad already and this baby's fake. <laughs> just walking into a liquor store, all discreet. Like, yeah, just bring my one-year-old into a liquor store. I bought it. Or he's actually blind, so he can't even see you. Yeah, no, yeah. no he's just blind, so like I have to navigate him around. But I'm just wondering, like, I need recommendations. Because i like, I've been stressed, I've been tired, I've been working so much. And like my baby, like, it's just been crying 24-7. So I was just wondering, like, because I, like, had like meditational music and all this to try to like ease him into bed. But I was wondering like, what liquor would you recommend for this kid so I could shut him up and just like, he's done talking. Uh, I can't recommend liquor for a kid. Or just like something light, like a Jaeger bomb or like I, some vodka or. I even ask that. Of course not, no. Uh, but he just won't stop crying. Like I tried everything. I tried like lullabies, like nursery rhymes, I, reading him a book. I don't want to be hard, but like, I, I actually like, I don't know if you're actually joking with me or not. No, I'm being dead serious. Okay, well like, I, I, I don't even, I think I'm actually allowed to sell to you now that I think you're, yeah. like, I think that's, you should Well, no, like, my parents started me off young, and they said the younger the better because you build your I, tolerance. I, I, I guess you, but as far as my, my job, like, I'm actually not allowed to sell to you now. But you don't know if I'm going to give it to the baby. I was just wondering, like. You just said that. Well, yeah, but like, I'm just wondering. I'm wondering for, actually, I'm wondering, but I'm wondering for like recommendations, though. I, I, a, I definitely not gonna answer that. That's like, it sounds like a trap. And B, I mean, well, you're not on bridge. Maybe, maybe but that's not gonna shut the baby up because I give him juice and I give him all that stuff. But like, I need hard alcohol just so he shuts up and I can go to work. I can't uh, recommend anything, and I, I can't serve you either now. Like, that's I mean, you shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry. I, I feel. Yeah, because he's I don't know. He's almost two, so like he's pretty much a grown man. So I'm just trying to yeah. Too? Yeah, so I'm just trying to give him some alcohol. There's an actual, in there? There's an actual baby. Yeah, so I'm just trying to give him. I'm trying to start him young. Well, he's big, just like his dad. So I'm just trying to find him something like just I don't know to put him to bed. Dang. Well, no, we're customers though. We're paying just like anybody else. Like. Not not tonight because I can't serve you. But we're customers just like anybody else. Like I gotta provide for my baby. Like I want to give him some shots or like some hard alcohol. So. I Customer. But can can you just like recommend me something like hey y'alls or what do you think is good for a baby like for you, alcohol wise? You, you, you have eyes. I'm not I'm not answering that question. But also I, I can't. What, no matter what you want to ask, what you want to get, I'm not going to sell it to you. Hmm. you can't you can't sell you anything because of what you said. Yeah. That's how the, that's how the law works. But that's what my mom was saying because she fed me alcohol when I was a baby and like I turned out fine. So I'm just wondering like if I give him some slight alcohol here and there like yeah, just to shut him up and. Yeah, like they were feeding me alcohol at six, so I'm just thinking like, let me just like. Yeah. But I'm actually the boss. Like my dad owns this whole place, so I'm just wondering. But my dad actually owns this whole building, so I'm just like wondering. Like you guys are working for me at this. Well, I'm just wondering, can I get a recommendation? Because you guys are working for me at this point. Like, I, I, no, I recommend you go to Toby. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a, it's a fake baby. I know. I'm just kidding. Oh, dude, that was good. Like, we had the whole store up in arms. Like, you, everybody came out and they're like, dude, don't give liquor to a baby. Like, what are you thinking about, dude? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, my daddy owns this building, so you guys actually work for me. That, those two guys were way better than the other guy. The other guy was like, first he was like driving around, and then he's like, yeah, maybe some brandy. <laughs> But that's what I want though. Like I want uh, like everybody, like just to be like, what the fuck? Like what is that this kid guy. talking about? That's funny as heck. And he's like, why are you filming? I was like, yeah, he's actually blind and he's deaf. But that's why I say it though. It's smart because like it just avoid, like they don't, they can't interact with you because they're like, okay, well, is he being serious? Like, so they can't really tell you what to do. Just and, they, like, and then you just pretend you can't see him and you just keep filming. And they're like, what the f <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, he can only read braille. Like this guy can't even see you right <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys work for the government. I get paid 25 cents a minute. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. He probably thought it was like a little public stint or something. But yeah, what I want to do on YouTube is just create moments. Like shit that's like, what the flip? Like, what did he just do? Like, we're in a liquor store. We're just arguing if we should recommend a baby liquor. And everybody's like up in arms, like wondering if I'm being serious. The funniest thing is when I keep a straight face and they don't know if I'm being serious or like I'm joking around. So they're like, 
do I actually take this guy serious or? So, all right, we're going to another liquor store. This one is small and it's compact, so it's gonna be hard to hide this camera. So you're gonna have to figure that out. But I just want you to screw hide in the camera, stuff it in their face, and we're gonna be like, you know what we're doing? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like? <laughs> uh, so I was just wondering, like my baby was crying for like all night and I have work tomorrow. Yeah. And it just won't stop crying nonstop. And I put on nursery rhymes for the poor thing. And I was just wondering like, what alcohol could I give it just so it passes out and it stops crying? Cause it's been like nonstop and I have work tomorrow, right? Yeah. And I tried everything. I tried nursery rhymes. I tried like patting its back. Do you have a car? I do, yeah. Do you want a car? Put her in the car and drive around the block. But like what alcohol? Like do I give it Jack Daniels or? Cause I'm trying to feed it alcohol just so it could like calm it down. Yeah. I personally wouldn't myself. But Why? That's, I don't know. But it's one, and my dad always said start them young. Like the younger, the better to build their tolerance. Maybe brandy. I don't know. But that's yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I don't know. My mom had liquor when I was like nine. Yeah, she was yeah. like feeding me liquor, so yeah. I'm just trying to pass it down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's and like I feel like it's good for the baby. Like if I just give it some Jack Daniels or like Ciroc or Hennessy <laughs> or. Depends. Yeah, the guy's like, just drive it around back and give it some brandy. I'm like, okay, I'm joking, but like you're actually giving me. This like, guy's like <laughs> straight up give the. Give the baby some brandy. <laughs> Dude, this guy got raised, raised by wolves. He's like, maybe some brandy. Ah. North Vancouver, everyone. Uh, I'm just gonna be honest. Like my baby has been crying all night and all day, and I have work tomorrow. So I'm just wondering, like, if you have any good recommendations for alcohol to give it, just so it shuts up. You mean the fake baby you have in your house? No, this is real. It's just sleeping right now. What's that? Well, I don't want to disturb the baby that's sleeping. Like, it cries all the time. No, like, actually, like, it's just constantly crying. So I'm just wondering, like, what alcohol you guys could serve this thing to shut it up? Sorry? Like, I've been, like, giving this baby, like, meditational music and binary beats and ambient music and all that. And I'm wondering, like, what alcohol could I serve this baby to shut it up? And this, he's deaf and he's blind, so he can't even, he's not even in the equation. It's, no, it's sleeping, dude. Why you got the camera on? All right, so my cameraman cracked under pressure and he nervously stopped recording multiple times, not just at the liquor store. He did this so many times, especially when it was like about to get good and the person was like getting heated and there's some action. He would stop recording. And I was just like, oh my God, like when I was editing this footage, it was just like, you know, some of the clips were just pointed at the bottles for like half an hour and the camera was up like this and it was down like this and it was shaking like you had Parkinson's, but it's all good because it was his first time. But I also messed up on my behalf. Like I had so many great videos, but my lab microphone wasn't plugged in, so there's no audio, so I had to scrap all that footage, which is unfortunate, but this video was pretty much just a trial run. Like, it's just practice for me and for him to build that chemistry, and not only that, just to, you know, figure out the ropes. Get him comfortable behind a camera, give him some pointers, give him some tips, and it's also good practice for me to just be more comfortable in uncomfortable situations, or just like, you know, trolling the public, or whatever it may be. So, yeah, this whole video is just practice. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.